Hi, welcome to Weekly Devotion. I'm Pastor Tanny, uh, coming to you live from St. Louis. Well, today I'm dressed up. I'm normally not like this. I uh, This is all Wednesday morning, and uh, the only time I really get to wear this is on Sundays. Actually, I'm practicing to be a saint. Sundays is a good time because I get to dress in white. Because in white is the color that we get a vision from John on Revelations. He says it this way. Behold, a great multitude that no one could number, from every nation, tribe, peoples, languages, standing before the throne, before the Lamb, clothed in white robes, with palm branches in their hands, and crying out with a loud voice, Salvation belongs to God, who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. So, I'm practicing sainthood. Of course, you know, if you're probably listening to this, you too are a saint. A saint alive. And that sometimes is um, debatable, I guess, because we live another life um, in sin. But the, the ones drew, um, dressed in white, they know that salvation belongs to the Lord. And so that's how one becomes a saint. One becomes a saint because their white robes have been washed in the blood of the Lamb. So the blood that we refer to is the one blood that was shed by Jesus on the cross. And that's why I wear a cross over this white robe. It's to remind me that I'm only white or a saint because of what Jesus did on the cross. And because of my trust in him, I am clothed in white. Now, if you've seen my um, clothes normally on a pastor's devotion time, weekly devotion, it's I'm dressed actually in black. So the sin that I do acquire, I have covered by a white robe. And that's what happens to our, all our um, saints that have passed away. One of the most precious moments is during the funeral service in the church is that when we put a white pall over the casket to remind us all that one has been washed in the blood of the Lamb and all their sins are covered with Jesus and his righteousness over us. So... Look forward to that day uh, when you will be there praising with all your family and friends uh, and all those who have confessed Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, for they know where their salvation lies. Let's pray. Lord, Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the saints that have gone before us as they have become a testimony for us and an example for us to live by faith here on earth. It's not always pretty and sometimes downright frustrating. But because of our trust in you and the cross that has always been placed on our foreheads and on our hearts from baptism to death, we proclaim and we shout out salvation belongs to the Lord. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.